Hi guys, today I'm gonna make a review for the Seiko Prospects SPB143J1. Uh, stainless steel case, I'm just gonna look at the dial. We do have a nice, beautiful Gray, gray sunburst dial. I'm gonna try to see if I can manage to see the, the light. It's playing very nice on the dial. Look at that. Um, they're selling this one for 1150 British pounds. And let me know if it's a good price for this or not. But I think, yeah, it's okay. It's not that bad. Uh, stainless steel case with uh, nice, beautiful clasp, which I'm gonna speak about in a bit. There we go. So we do have the Seiko logo at 12 o'clock, X automatic divers 200 meters at six o'clock and down the bottom we do have the japan movement as well um i'm gonna do the measures we do have a 40 40.5 millimeters case with 13.8 millimeters thickness and we do have a 47 meter millimeters lug to lug with a 20, 20 millimeters lug width so the bracelet is starting at 20 millimeters and it's coming down to 18. I'm gonna pop this one on my wrist. Just look the clasp is very well done. There we go. I have a 17.5 inch wrist so you, you're gonna be able to make an idea i look but i think the watch is absolutely beautiful we do have the date window at three o'clock 120 clicks unidirectional bezel very firm Uh, I'm gonna try to do a loom shot at the end of the video. There is plenty of loom on uh, our marks. Um, there is no name or logo on a crown. We do have a screw down crown for the water resistance. Uh, we do have a 200 meters water resistant with a 70 hours power, 70 hours power reserve. Um, screw down case back. We can see Seiko X, beautiful. The bracelet is very well built up, beautiful. We do have a brushed, both sides we can see it's polished on side and the case as well it's brushed on side and the top and we do have the polish aged uh, we do have a dive one extension as well i'm gonna try to there we go just in case you want to dive and you can put this one on on your dive suit it's masking very nice on a, on a on a clasp we do have a Seiko logo with the safety 
and uh, to push release button I do have to say it's very strong and very nice as well um, I'm gonna try to do a loom shot at the end of the video but anyway I think it's beautiful what you think let me know in the comments below We do have some uh, micro adjustments as well on a clasp. I'm still looking at the, the clasp, it's very beautiful. Anyway, the hands are very nice. And we can see that it's a uh, lump on uh, on a second hand as well. Um, we do have a stainless steel case with the stainless steel bracelet and the stainless steel bezel as well. We can see the numbers on the bezel. Anyway, I think it's it's very nice watch let me know in the comments below what you think there is holes in uh, the drill logs make very easy to change the bracelet if you want to we do have uh, sapphire crystal as well as i said it's price of this one it's 1150 British pounds and yeah sometimes you can get a good deal as well maybe you can get a 10 20 percent discount but yeah beautiful I'm gonna try to do the loom shot as well there we go I'm 100% sure you're gonna be able to tell the time in the night. We can see we do have a loom pip on a bezel at 12 o'clock. And we do have a loom pip on a second hand as well. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.